All right, in this video, we're going to look at something called sinus arrest. So let's take a look at some of the characteristics that make up this arrhythmia. With a sinus arrest, you're going to have a rate that varies. It's an irregular rhythm, as you can see from the strip above. The P waves are going to be present and normal. The PR interval, as well as the QRS, width are also going to be normal. Now you'll remember from the sinoatrial block video that we introduced this new characteristic field here called dropped beats and we do have them present here in this rhythm. So what is a dropped beat? Well remember it's a beat that should have occurred that didn't. So with a sinus arrest and a sinoatrial block we want to look at what's going on with this pause. We want to know what the P to P interval is before and what it is afterwards. And I know it's difficult to see with this strip because it doesn't continue on, but for our purposes, we're assuming that since this is a sinus arrest, the distance where the P to P interval before does not line up with the P to P interval after. And that is the characteristic of a sinus arrest. So, you know, if you have a rate that varies, it's an irregular rhythm, the P wave, PR interval, and QRS are all normal, and you have some drop beats, followed by a P2P interval that is not the same after the pause as before, there's a pretty good chance you're looking at a sinus arrest.